Okay, so after my last video, an old friend got in touch and said he's taken up archery and now he's developed a bit of a shoulder niggle and is there anything he can do to help? So I thought for this one, what would be quite handy is to show a technique where you can tape your shoulder um, and it's very good for sporty people, so anyone does racket sports or any, any form of sport, it will really help your shoulder. Even if you haven't got an injury, it will just make it last and feel good for a bit longer. Okay, so that's what we're going to try and do. I've done this taping countless times. Never ever tried to tape myself, so I don't really know if this is going to work. I'm just going to give it a go and see what happens because if you can tape yourself, then that's fantastic. But if not, you know, you'll see what I do and just get someone to help you do it. Uh, what we're going to do first is use Justin to show you some bony landmarks that you're going to need to be able to find. So you're going to need to be able to find your chromium and the spiny scapula, okay? The way you find them is, this is the clavicle, the collarbone, you can locate your clavicle quite easily, just come off your neck and then it sticks out and just follow it along, follow it along, all the way to the end of your shoulder and you'll find a bony ridge at the end and that is the acromion process here and that's what we're looking for. From that, you can see the acromion process becomes the spine and the scapula, so from there if you just keep reaching around to the back of your shoulder you'll feel this bony ridge here. That's the spine of the scapula there, so we need to be aware of those two. We also need to be aware of the delta 2 velocity, but that's a little bit harder to palpate, so I'll show you in a second how we find that. What we need is tape, because it's a taping technique. I use rock tape, you can use what you like, but I'd recommend rock tape, it's very good. And we need two pieces, and the way you measure it is, you'll see in a minute how you find your delta 2 velocity, but you put it around that area. You come up to the acromion and you cut it off so you have a piece about this length which will fit your arm. You need to, so once you cut it, the next thing you do, you round off the edges because you don't want any of the points on the edges because they'll catch on your clothes and it will lift off quicker. And then what you do is you cut it in half, leaving about an inch at the end intact. Okay. Once you cut it in half, again round off your two ends. And repeat. So you have two pieces which look pretty much identical, okay? So then you need to apply it, see how this works out, okay? We've got our two pieces. What we need to do first is get our shoulder. And we need to find our deltoid tube velocity. So the way we find this, this is your deltoid muscle. So if you lift your arm up, you'll find your deltoid contracts and it feels like an upside down raindrop. And you can follow the muscle down to its natural point, which is the deltoid tube velocity, okay? You can see it's just underneath this beautiful portrait of my mother here, okay? Take your first piece, sorry mother. Remember that end, that inch we left? We want to take the backing off that, so rip the backing off. Put it to one side, and then stick the glue down into the area of the deltoid tube velocity, okay? It's good to be accurate, but it really doesn't matter. If you use the printed side, well, it does matter, but you know what I mean. You'll get the hang of it, you'll get better as you go. If you use the printed then rub it down, you'll get the glue to set a bit more, which is quite important when you're doing it yourself, because it lifts off easy. And then what we do is we take the front piece, keep it pinned down, give it a little tug, and the backing will come away a bit. Pull it down, leave yourself just about an inch at the end, and hold it like so. Now, front piece means arms goes back. So bring your arm back, apply a little bit of stretch, and run round the shoulder, heading towards the acromion. The bit you pinched off, just lay with no stretch. And it goes like so. That worked. Let's see how this one goes. Next one, a little pinch. So we're heading towards the acromion, okay? So we don't have to hit it. That's why we know where it is, because that's where we're aiming for. Peel up a bit, a little bit. I think I've come under the arm. There, but that's better. And now the back bit, the arm goes forward. Look, bring it round, head it up. Quite tricky. Towards. See, this bit doesn't need a stretch, so you can just lay it and lay it like so. Okay. Now I've got a couple of creases in here, which isn't ideal, but it's my first time trying this, so give me a bit of slack. And you will end up as well. But you know, ideally that would be smooth. It isn't. 
it's not the end of the world. Use the pin inside again, rub it down, and there we go. Right, first piece applied. That was the easy one. This is going to be a bastard. Right, the first bit, so the, the anchor, the inch, we're going to aim to put it around the center of this front arc, okay? Again, take off the backing. And then the two um, legs, so to speak, are going towards the back. So we're going to lay it. I'm also trying to do this off the camera, which isn't the easiest thing. A bit like that. That'll do. There we go. Now, now, what we're going to do, top bottom, give it a little peel so you've got it. Now, you remember the spine of the scapula? We're looking to go superior, so above the spine of the scapula, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to put our arm behind our back, apply about 50% stretch, and then run it across the top like so, and then lay the end bit with no stretch, like so. Okay, so there's the spine of my scapula, and there's my piece of tape. Okay, if someone else was taping you, you'd do the next tape in this position, but I was thinking about it earlier, and it won't work. So take the second piece, bring it down, and what you're going to have to do is put arm under arm, and you need to tuck this arm in because we want to rotate the shoulder in that direction. And can I do it? Ah, oh, yes. And then bring it round the back, round the back, like a pro. And I can get that last bit, you bastard. There we go. And we did it. And then take the back in. Yeah. Heat activated glue, see? That's why you give it a rub. Heat of activated glue, which is why you don't dry it with a hairdryer after the shower, because it will melt your skin and you'll have to get it cut off. But look at that. A self-taped shoulder. I'm quite proud of myself. Never done that before. If I can do it, anyone can. And that is great for all your sporting stuff. Tennis, cricket, archery, everything. All right. Thank you very much.